Wagwan is that guy. Today's video, I want to talk to you guys about Ozuna, popular Puerto Rican reggaeton artist that has blown up lately with this song. And the Amigo has been showing some epic locks lately, but my question is, are they fake or not? Sorry, extensions. Let's dive into this dreadlock review today. So make sure you stay tuned, stay subscribed. This is Not Nation. Juan Carlos Ozuna Rosado, known by his stage name Ozuna, is a Puerto Rican reggaeton and Latin trap singer, widely regarded as the most successful reggaeton artist from his generation. Born March 13th, 1992, age 25, from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Now, with this being a dread review, I want to start off by showing you his hair before the dreads. And this hairstyle being quite boring, I can understand why he went with the dreadlock route. <laughs> As his hair begins to grow, a little bit of gel is thrown in with some mousse, trying to get the curls guaning. And this is the next stage in his hair journey, it was this curly stage here with the sides tapered and the front tapered as well. Being of Latin descent, they do have better texture for hair and dreads to form than your average Caucasian, but there is still something suspect and suspicious to me about his hair journey because he goes from this to a magnificent leap to this without any pictures in between of his hair growing the stages to this point in his dreadlock journey and then when we're looking at this picture of Ozuna we can see that they're definitely sectioned at the front tapered on the sides and massively manipulated to the point where every dread looks pretty much exactly the same right down to the tip from the roots so him rocking the pine the half pineapple top right here pretty cool look um, and his hair was the shortest at this point of the dreadlocks that I could notice uh, which is about eye length uh, and it's a pretty lengthy start to a dreadlock journey when your dreads are right down to your eyes already So the dreadlocks actually look pretty legit. They look real, they look magnificent. I gotta say, it's a great look. But I just wanted to note that there is an exception and a possibility that they might be extensions, AKA fake dreadlocks, mainly because I couldn't find anything between his short hair and this length now. Uh, and we see hair jewelry in there, dread jewelry, which is a great look on a lot of people. Uh, he's rocking his hair down quite often, but as his hair grows out, the new growth is actually new dreadlocks coming in because he's getting it twisted. So there's nothing fake about the new growth. It's just the extensions that he kind of had added. I would say around where the bleach is on that one dread would have been kind of where the extensions have been added. Maybe a little bit up to the top, a little bit more so, but definitely picture perfect locks in this photo. <laughs> If you notice on his retwist, the new growth is looking a little bit thinner than the le uh, the end of his dreads, which would have been the extended part. Um, so he's definitely getting his hair retwisted that we know of, and we see the length happening though, and lots of dye in his hair as well. Pretty 
noticeable that he's getting his hair braided, he's getting it braided locks, putting in side taper is actually growing higher and higher to more of a high top fade. His dreads actually remind me a lot of Gunther the Great for some reason, especially with that one red dread that he's got in the back. So with his hair being pretty thin, he likes to get them braided quite often as mentioned before and this would be the effect of the braid out. Once you take out the braids, your hair becomes to get crinkly and the dreads kind of get curly a little bit. Lil Wayne, 2 chains, really making this a popular look. And essentially you're going to want to braid your hair like this for anywhere between the 5 hours to 2 days and you take them out and they're crinkly afterwards. And in this photo we actually see a little bit of color in his hair. It looks to be a little bit redder than usual. Maybe it's like a maroon purple type tint to it. But again, notice the taper at the front. I'm not a huge fan of the tapers myself, but a lot of people really like them. Let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on tapered edges like so. Personally, I feel that it kind of thins out the area a bit too much around the scalp, but it's a sacrifice and a risk you take for the braided dreadlock look like this. Ozuna really likes to get it braided, man. And notice the tips on the that are blunted here at the end. Pretty squared off like they've been trimmed or something, but they're they're pretty flat edged tips. If you notice in this picture here, you can see a difference in the color of his locks about halfway through. Making me think that the bottom half of these locks here are the extended part and the new growth up here is all the new dread that has come in since the extensions were in place. And I just noticed less and less dreads as time goes on where his side fade seems to be getting higher and higher. Um, the red dread in the back here, pretty prominent, standing out quite a bit. Dread jewelry still rocking in and he's got the full pineapple top happening now. And this here being probably the cleanest look that I've seen him rock with his dreads. Fish boned out, really interesting braid that he's going through here. Um, this can hurt, be careful, get some Advil if you're going to be attempting this look. Uh, but it, it does look pretty dope. And this picture intrigues me for the fact of his length that he finally has now on his dreads. Again, notice the difference in the color of the tips versus the new growth. We see almost a, a whole shade. Uh, just another reason why I think they're extensions that are in his dreads. Cough, cough, fake dreads. But it does seem to be the ongoing trend these days in hip hop. So, um... Let's leave it at that. This is not locks. I'm going to sign off. Peace out. One love. I'll see you guys next time. Adios. Gracias a toda mi gente de Latinoamérica y el mundo entero por apoyarme siempre. Así que nos vemos mañana. Osuna.